Hey guys, it's Camille, and today we are doing a full hair care routine from shampooing all the way to styling without using a drop of water. So this is my hair. I haven't washed it in a few days. It really needs some help right now. It's pretty dry on the ends, and then the scalp is kind of oily, a little greasy. So I'm gonna take care of that. First, I'm gonna grab a couple of hair scrunchies. These are all satin hair scrunchies because it's kind of my new wave right now. I'm only using satin because I don't want to like pull or tear or add any friction on my hair. So I just bought a bunch of these online in every single color. <laughs> so no matter what I'm wearing, it can match my outfit. But it's also really nice to just have a ton of hair scrunchies on hand. This is what it looks like right now. My hair is kind of faded right now, so I'm probably gonna do a color touch up very soon. Um, but this is the color right now. So the first step I'm gonna do is divide my hair into four sections, so it will be easier to work with when I'm using the shampoo so I can get all of the roots. A lot of people think that dry shampoos are only for people with straight hair, and a lot of them are. I think that's also how they were formulated in the beginning when dry shampoos were just coming out. So I totally understand that. And I definitely thought that it was only for straight hair. But these days there are some that are formulated for curls and for natural hair. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that today. So right now, these are the three sections that I have tied up. And then the first section at the front is what I'm gonna be working with first. So I'm actually using a dry shampoo foam rather than just the spray-in kind or the ones that spray in like powder because this one is formulated for thick and curly hair. This is the waterless dry shampoo foam. So first you want to shake it like the earthquakes in LA that I'm for some reason moving to this week. Kind of nervous about that and the fires but it's too late. We already put the deposit down on our apartment. This whole area is such a mess which is why you're only seeing this background. <laughs> but yeah, once you shake it, you just wanna squirt out a little bit that much. Whoop! Oh my goodness. I always almost drop stuff when I'm filming, but it's just one of those days, man. So I'm just getting started on the section that I have out and getting a little bit on my fingers and then just rubbing it through a little part of that and kind of massaging it through my scalp. Just getting a little bit more to go down here, just so I can have it even. That's why I did little sections and I'm going a little bit at a time. So Waterless is a new brand that was formulated to be able to extend wash days without water. And the really cool thing about them is there was a water shortage in South Africa where they were running out of water and only had enough for like three more months. So they got to test this in a real life situation. So the people were able to do wash days and do their hair without using any water, which is really fantastic for a water shortage. I think it was such a good way to A, test this out and to B, help people who needed it. So I think the message behind this brand is just beautiful. So thank you so much to Waterless for what you do for the community and for giving me these products and sponsoring this video. I never would have thought it was possible to make a whole hair routine without using any water. I've literally never done that before until I got these products. And I also feel like this is perfect for people who work out because you could still get sweaty on your scalp without the rest of your hair getting ruined if you had like just done your hair. Before my life was a mess, I used to work out. So I totally think that I would probably do the routine with just the shampoo if the rest of my hair was still curled and moisturized and everything. So that's definitely another reason that you could try this out without having to do like a full hair routine. So now that this section feels really clean, I'm putting it back into a ponytail and moving on to this one. I do use a little bit more than is recommended on the bottle because I just like my hair to feel like really clean. When I'm gonna clean it, I want it to be clean clean so then it can also last longer between washes so I don't have to, well I don't have to wash it as often, but also because I have dyed hair I try to wash it as little as possible and have 
the least amount of water in my hair because it will fade every time it gets wet, which is another reason I've been liking this routine. It's definitely saved my hair from fading. I do like to go kind of slow with it just to make sure that I get every spot and I'm not missing anywhere. All right, this side is all good. I'm gonna take off some of my rings. They're getting caught in my hair. So one thing to remember is when you squirt it out, it starts small and then it grows. So you wanna make sure that when you put a little bit, you know you're gonna have a bit more. So now I'm gonna start with the back section. And the cool thing about this is that it has tapioca starch in it, so that helps get rid of grease without drying out your hair. And then it also has vitamins B3 and B5. It has no parabens and no dyes, which is great because my hair already has that dye. We are done with this side. All right, last section and I'm leaving them divided into quadrants because I'm gonna need to do that for the next step anyways, so might as well make it easier and just leave them. So this is the Hair Balm Condition and Style, and they have a range of different ones for different hair types, but this is the one for coily, curly, and thick hair, so obviously this is the one that I'm using. So I'm gonna do two pumps to start out with. This also has omega-9, vitamin B5, and argan oil. So I'm doing this back section next, starting with two pumps. I'm gonna go ahead and start at the bottom, get those ends nice and wet, and then work my way up. Two more pumps. And I'm taking little sections out of the quadrant to make sure that my hair is completely saturated because I want everything to be moisturized. I don't wanna miss any sections. And also, if you're going to detangle, then you also need the whole thing to be wet. You don't want to try and detangle wet hair and then just end up like getting the brush stuck in it or not being able to go through it smoothly or not getting that type of definition that you want. So I think for each section, I use about two pumps three times. Personally, I like to finger comb. I like to detangle my hair as much as possible anytime that I do it because I want to get that definition. So this is free of parabens, sulfates, and alcohols. And it's also good for your scalp. It helps nourish your scalp, partially because of the argan oil. So don't be worried about getting some directly on your scalp. And don't worry about putting too much in because it is a really like thinner formula. So you can spread it throughout your hair and it won't like clump together or anything. And then it's also easier to detangle when everything is saturated. I do like to rub my scalp a little bit with the residue that's on my fingers and it's kind of like, I wouldn't say cooling, but like, I don't know, like moisturizing, I guess. And of course, remember to be gentle with your hair no matter what you're doing with it. So now that my hair is completely conditioned, I'm using one last product. This is the Curl Milk Refresh and Redefine. And this is pretty similar in texture to the conditioner, just a little bit thicker. And this is pretty much for styling. So if you want your hair to curl back up or if you want it to be a little bit more shiny or if you're gonna finger curl, then I would use this. And it also has the same B5 and argan oil in it as the conditioner. And it's also sulfate and paraben free as well as alcohol free. And I'm using my fingers to put it throughout my hair without sectioning because since my hair is already damp, it spreads very easily. And I'm just being aware of where I'm putting it. So I'm taking like little sections at a time to make sure that it's spread out evenly since I'm not sectioning it. And you can use this on either damp or dry hair. It definitely spreads out way more easily when it's on damp hair, so after I conditioned. And you can also use it before blow drying. I also like to put a little bit extra on this section of my hair, the part that gets like the most sun damage. Not related, but I can't believe I'm moving to LA. Like that's kind of crazy. I've been a New York girl for so long and like a lot of you guys are in New York and every time I have a meetup there, it's just been so exciting. Especially the last one, it was like my going away meetup. That was kind of sad and made me a bit nostalgic, but 
I'm ready for this new chapter of my life in LA and if any of you guys are there or have been there and have any recommendations for places that I should go, let me know in the comments down below. And hopefully after the pandemic is over, if I'm still in LA, then we could do like a meetup there or something, maybe like a beach meetup, I don't know. But moving has been so stressful. Like I absolutely hate moving. I can't deal with, I don't know how people just move like that. Like I have way too many things between me and Kyler. And also just like a lot of it is tech stuff for filming videos and then a lot of it is beauty products also for filming videos. So having to move all of that has been quite the feat. But I'm moving to like the center of Hollywood. So that should be really exciting. And one of my best friends just moved from my neighborhood in New York to my neighboring neighborhood in LA. So what was like within walking distance in New York is within like a 10 minute drive in LA. So we're pretty much just following each other wherever we go. That's a true friend right there. Or I'm the true friend because I moved after. Yeah, I'm a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to put some like right at the back of my head. Like, like right here. Also, I really appreciate the love you guys have been giving me on my last couple videos. I was really excited to post those. I definitely did like some of my best work, some of my best editing on those. So I appreciate the feedback. And if you haven't checked them out, then just head over to my channel and you can see those. Also, if you like this video or the other ones, feel free to subscribe, but I'm not forcing you. I would just love you more if you subscribe. And there we go. Everything is conditioned and curl milked and ready to be styled. So the last thing before I start styling, I'm gonna go through my hair with my Denman brush. And you can also use a wide tooth comb to do that. Just make sure that you're not pulling on your hair. And I'm starting at the bottom as usual. Just being very gentle. Also, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately and I'm kind of running out of people to follow. So if you guys have any favorite YouTubers or know of anyone that you think that I might like, comment that down below. And I do love to watch like curly people and like makeup people, but I'm also into like comedy and just like good videos in general, science videos. I kind of like everything except for like gaming. So if you guys have any recommendations, definitely leave a comment in the description, in the description box, in the comments. You can't leave. If you guys could get into my description box, it would get weird. You can also finger comb if you want, but I like to do like a very thorough comb through. So now you need two of those tiny little elastic hair bands. I'm using clear. You could use whatever color matches best with your hair. I'm not being exact with this. You can if you want to, but I'm pretty much just gonna part the center of my hair using my pinky finger. Now I'm gonna take my thumbs and go towards the corners of my head and sort of swoop back and connect at the same point and then gently pull that hair out. Then I'm gonna stick the rest into a scrunchie to keep it out of the way, then I'm going to take this section and divide it into three so I can do a little braid. So three sections, and then I'm just gonna do a regular braid. Then I'm using the little elastic and putting that on the end of the braid to hold it together. Then you wanna make sure you start the braid at the same part on the other side so it doesn't look weird and uneven. And I like to do the braid when my hair is wet and has the curl milk in it because it helps really smooth it out in a way that it doesn't when it's dry because it already has kind of like that curl texture. And then putting in the elastic band. So it's the next day today. I let my hair completely dry and then I unbraided them and they turned out so cute. Like the unbraided texture is just beautiful. So I decided to leave it down, which is a style I've never done before, but I think it looks really cute and it helps kind of frame my face. 
and also like give more volume to my hair. It low key reminds me of e-girl hair, but that's okay. Or better than okay if you're an e-girl. Or better than okay if you're curly and want to be an e-girl. Anyways, so this is the finished look. I really like how the curls came out very defined and soft and how these textures came out. I love that. So I think I'm probably gonna try this again in the future with just like completely braiding my hair and unbraiding it just to see how it looks. Um, I also really appreciate that this didn't take any water, so now that I'm moving to Cali and there isn't any water, that will be really handy. And I would also recommend anyone who can save water to try to save it when they can. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to Waterless Hair Care for giving me a new perspective on hair care and life and hair care. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other social media linked in the description box down below. I will be coming out with a bunch more videos soon about moving to LA, stuff I'm doing in LA, other hair stuff, other beauty stuff. You know my channel. If you don't know my channel, then check out my channel. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I'll see you in the next one.